already weird vibes out here, bro. It sounded like it was coming from a little kid. I don't like that noise. Wait, wait, wait. Why did it just start going nuts on three spins? We should get the flashlight. That's weird. I don't feel comfortable. I don't right feel now comfortable. Either. No. There's just a figure just staring at us. Cut the light. What the? Bro. That's true. Are you here right now? Something bad always happens when it says surprise. Let's just follow him. That absolutely does not look like that. It looks like fingers. This is what every single paranormal team out there dreams of capturing. Hi, my name is Sarah Evans. I live in Florida now and I've lived here for almost 22 years. And my husband and I decided that we wanted to get a house somewhere that was completely different. So we found a house. It's just the surroundings are so beautiful and it is quite cold, but it's just a nice change for us to, to go back and forth. After I moved in, um, got to know a few of the locals and several of them had told me that there was a little boy that used to live in this house and he, he fell into the ice and he drowned. I woke up one night and I heard children's voices. And I'm like, what? I said, am I dreaming or is, or am I awake? Was this really late at night? It was, it was somewhere in the middle of the night. Like at a time that there shouldn't be any children <laughs> yeah. outside. Yeah, and it was really cold and it was snowing that night too. And I heard voices of little kids playing. And I'm like, this can't be. I got up in the morning and I saw kids' toys. And they were right outside of the door. There's no explanation for it because my grandkids have not been to that house yet. And there's no kids around there that I know of. Yes. That's yes. That's yeah, when it's snowing and cold, yes. First pulling up to the place, we came down this long, snowy, desolate road. I feel like we're going to Sleepy Hollow. I don't know, the only thing that's giving me any type of hope is that the clock is red. Yeah. I mean, it looks like probably two days ago. Oh yeah. We 
we got out like we usually do and we started with our walkthrough. Uh, here, can you hold this for a sec? Got it. I got the key, I think. Do I have the key or do I get it there? I get the Okay, I got the keys. Yeah. Oh, that's good. What? Might be like an automatic heater or something, like a time of year. That's great. Mm. Looks like uh, what the fuck? This looks like dog, like dog nose. You know how it drips down? You know what I'm talking about? Like when a dog like sticks their nose constantly? That absolutely does not look like that. That looks like fingers. They're on the inside. That's not on the outside. That's on the inside, I believe. What? Weird. That is weird. Let's see what we got upstairs. Okay, you don't hang on one second. Once we got to the cabin, we did the initial walkthrough. We used the regular testing EMF detector. We did the Ovilus walkthrough. Hello, hello. Anybody present that would like to come communicate with me and Colt? We hear from the lady that lives here you like to visit often. And if that's true, are you here right now? It's just like an AC duct and shit. Not a lot was happening on the inside of the cabin, but we did know that the creek right out back is where this little boy had supposedly drowned. Oh shit, the snow is deep, bro. Yeah. This was definitely the coldest investigation that Colton and I have ever done. It was below 10 degrees outside. It felt like we were in a whole nother world. That's something that neither one of us are really used to at all. Ooh. Hey, real quick, no bullshit. Whoa. Do these, do these look like adult footprints or? No. Those look like kids, right? When we approached the bridge, we looked down and there was these single file, like, small footprints, definitely smaller than ours. Here, wait, check this out. Hold on. I just want to do this for the, for the viewer's sake. Here, look, this is, this is the size of one of my footprints. That's an adult footprint. Those are tiny, huh? Yeah. Small child shoes to just, something just like sprinted across the bridge. You still see the impression of the foot. Look at them, like they ran yeah. across it. Look, it's all on the one side. Cause that's not that far. That's only like two feet. Me and you, we probably have about a three foot step when we're not running. Is this bridge uh, sturdy? Whoa. I really don't want to go in the ice right now.
You know what I'm thinking? What? Let's come out here with the Avilus. You know? At okay. the uh, at the place. We usually like to go to the locations of death. For some reason, it seems like the location of death typically gets some kind of energy. Just listen to how quiet it is. I'm just thinking to myself, can you imagine falling through this? And then... Right now, by yourself? I'm just saying, like, going right through the ice and not being able to find your way up, that's horrible. Yeah. Look at this shit, man. It's pretty deep, too. It didn't look like it was this deep when we were walking up. Yeah. Already weird vibes out here, bro. Check this out. Let me get tight on that. Something tried to run across. You can see a little, like the little hand. Look. What? It's like a little, that looks like a hand, but I know it's like probably animal paws because there's four of them here, look. Yeah. That ain't a rabbit. Something. Hey, there's no more footprints. Huh? There's no more footprints. They stopped. They didn't even get all the way. They got like right here on the other side of the, the creek. But look, look, look at the um, bridge. Yeah. They stopped. And the, there's none around here. That's wild. That's a trip. That is a fucking trip. I would say, yeah, let's just follow him, but there's yeah, nowhere to go. Well, let's get to the other side and see what's going on. Careful with this shit. This is wild, man. I think this is still a creek right here. Oh, I know it's it piled is. piled up because you got this other side. All right, so listen, I know I say this every time we're outside somewhere. Yeah. You need to be careful with bears out here, for real. Oh, no, big time. <laughs> and you know what? Huh? This is that time of the year where it was a little bit warm for a second, and then it got ice cold again. So the only thing that's waking up are the are the badasses. Oh yeah, yeah. The dudes that are starving, and right now they will. F oh, they will fuck. They you will up, fuck yeah. us up, big time. What is that? There's some big prints over there. See that? Yeah. Over there. I sure do. Are those human or not? I don't like that noise. The creaking noise? It sounds like we're on top of the water still. It does. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, hey, um, those aren't, those aren't shoe prints. Those are massively large paw prints. Yeah, I know, I'm good. No, thank you. That's a trip, dude. I think maybe we should put something out here like an obelisk or... Yeah, no, I think we should run the obelisk on the bridge. Okay. See if we get any, anything to come through, maybe. Get some clear messages out here. the investigation we were out on the bridge with the obelisk trying to get responses out of it is there a reason that you won't leave this place is there something you'd like to tell anybody sometimes it'll say things that are just random off the wall and then there's other times that it'll take the energy around it and use those frequencies to channel words through it What did it say? It said yank in. Oh my god. Yank in. The ovulus said yanked in. Were you yanked in? That's dude, all the hairs are standing up on my body right now. Major goosebumps, bro. Every hair on my body stood up because we know a kid drowned here and it it was one of two things. It was either saying that the kid felt like he was yanked in by something or 
that maybe something wanted to yank one of us in. Ugh. Yanked in. Are you telling me that someone yanked you in the ice? What were you yanked in by? What yanked you in? Or do you want to yank me in? So we went back inside the house and we did a spirit box session in the upstairs bedroom. We wanted to make sure that we tested out all locations in this property. We got a few voices come through on the spirit box. Some of them were kind of hard to make out. There was one or two that sounded like it was coming from a little kid. I heard somebody yelling. Can you tell me what you're saying? Can you speak clearly? Oh, I heard like a little kid. I just heard a little kid. Sound like said mommy. We could definitely hear what sounded like some child voices, but the other ones were just, they were too hard to make out. We decided to use the Ouija board at this location, and the crazy thing is, we had the Ovilus on, sitting right next to it for 20 to 30 minutes while we're setting it up. And the second that me and him shake hands and we tap ourselves into the board, the Ovilus starts going crazy. One, two, three. Wife, age. Wife, age. Mm -hmm. Solstice. Wait, wait, wait. Why did it just start going nuts on three spins? The ovulus started picking up some kind of energy once we got into the session with the planchette on the board and it just started spitting out words. Why did it just start going nuts on three spins? I don't know. Did you notice that? Yeah. It didn't do anything until we spun it three times. Can you use your energy to spell something out? Look at the candle over there. Look. Look at yours. Your two are going nuts. When we started doing the Ouija board session, candles were kind of flickering from different areas and there was no fans on, there was no AC going, no windows open. It's just another thing to make note of that really can't be explained. Okay, now mine are kind of, oh, this is weird. Violent. Whoa, it's getting weird. I know, you don't, I know you don't like this stroke, but just don't let go. Why did you say violent? Are you violent? Are you angry? You could actually move the plant. Surprise! I don't like that one. I don't either. I never liked that one. Mm -mm. Something bad always happens when it says surprise. I don't like that, dude. Yeah, I don't either. Use whatever you want to communicate, but if you don't mind, you can drag these to spell words. Can you please move the planchette to yes or no and let us know if you're upset that we're here? After a while of not getting a whole lot of evidence, we decided we were going to set up static cameras and then go to sleep because the person that told us about the story, she says that when she goes to bed or she's laying in bed is the time when she hears strange things most often. We 
we were both pretty tired, so we just decided to turn in for the night. But within 15 minutes of laying down, we both heard something very, very weird. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a song. That's fucking weird, bro. That's weird, dude. I'm gonna, we should get the flashlight. That's weird. First, it sounded like a little kid's voice, but then it kind of sounded a little bit melodic, like, like someone was outside singing. You hear that? Yeah. Me and Casey sat up at the exact same time, and we looked at each other almost to like confirm that we both just heard what we thought we heard. You hear that? Yeah. We hear something that sounds like singing, and you could tell it was coming from outside. It sounds like a song. That's fucking. Colton heard it just as clear as I did, so we decided to go downstairs, put our shoes on, and see if we can go outside and capture this audio. That's weird, dude. I'm gonna, we should get the flashlight. That's weird. That's fucking creepy, bro. When I sat down on the couch to put my shoes on, right next to me was that window that we saw when we first came in the cabin but there was something different on it. There was something that I know for a fact was not there when we arrived at the cabin. Hey, what is this? That's the dog No, bro. Casey goes, look, look, look. And he said, look at all these markings. And earlier we had seen something that looked like dragging or like maybe a dog's nose or something moving up and down on it. So I kind of like brushed it off real quick. And then he said, no, there's handprints. And we looked and they were on the outside of the glass. Dude, look at this. Come here real quick. That's outside the fucking window. Look, look right here. This. I see it. These handprints were half the size of mine, half the size of Colton. So. Oh, bro. Dude, they're all over the place. It's just eerie to think about because when did that happen? You know? Didn't happen before we were there. So somewhere between nightfall and four in the morning, those handprints appeared. Is there? Yeah. This whole bottom. Oh, dude, that's fucking crazy. What the fuck? These handprints were super small. Like, if I had to guess, they're from, like, a five- or six-year-old. Cut the light on for a second so we get dressed. Yeah, we gotta put on, like, ten layers to go outside right now. I hope the static camera heard that. Dude. I mean, I hope it did too. I mean, I know those mics are not the best, but that was I, pretty cool. I want to know what's going on with this. Yeah. Like, is someone fucking with us? Yeah, I don't know. What the hell is that? Oh, it's fucking shit on. It's fucking cold, bro. Hey. 
Cut the light. I swear I saw something move outside. And when I asked Colton to turn off the lights, I was not prepared for what we both saw. Hey, cut the light. Dude, I swear to God, I just saw something run past, like, outside. Something moved. Do you, what is that? Do you see that right there? Dude. What is that? I don't oh, know. bro, it's, it's moving. It's moving. What the fuck is that? Oh, oh, my oh God. dude. What the fuck, bro? I can't. I oh thought that was a shadow. God, bro. It, like, disappeared. Dude, I'm feeling all types of weird right now, dude. You gotta understand, there's no lights out there. The only thing that we can see is the moonlight that's reflecting off of the snow outside. And right in the middle of the bridge, we both see what looks like a almost transparent black figure of some sort, just standing in the middle of the bridge. Dude, I swear to God, I just saw something run past, like, outside. Something moved. You, what is that? Do you see that right there? Dude, what is that? There's just a figure just staring at us. It looked like it was facing us from on top of the bridge, not moving, standing still. Do you see that right there? Dude, what is that? We don't know what's showing up on the camera, his cell phone camera at all. We're just fixated on it. And then it turns around and it bolts. Dude, what is that? I don't oh, know. bro, it's, it's moving, it's moving. What the fuck is that? Oh, my oh God. dude. When it ran, it looked more unnatural than I've seen anything move. Dude, I swear to God, I just saw something run past, like, outside. Something moved. Do you, what is that? Do you see that right there? Dude. What is that? I oh, bro, it's, it's moving. It's moving. What the fuck is that? Oh, my oh, God. Dude. It almost felt like it was made out of smoke. That's what it looked like to me. And when it turned and ran away... It just, like, vanished. It, like, disappeared. Dude, I'm feeling all types of weird right now, dude. Look at that, bro. Right there. Look at the way it just it dips. Just fucking dips. It dips, like, full speed. We're both standing there in the living room looking back at the footage that we just captured. We're watching it literally seconds after we captured it the crazy part is when it goes sideways i'm fucking nervous as hell and i'm freaked out bro but i think that we should go out with something That's we gotta give it a minute man that was a lot we were super apprehensive to go outside we obviously we just saw something that we can't explain we don't know what it was it didn't look like an animal i mean it didn't have distinguishing characteristics of a human, but we had to go back out there and see if we could communicate or see if we could get a glimpse of it closer. Too fast. It disappeared. It didn't look tall enough to be a, a person. No. Hello.
Hang on, hang on, stay still. Hello? It was so quiet out there. It almost sounded like I was in a studio recording room with soundproof padding around me. It was that quiet. Was that you? Was that you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm like high alert right now. All right. Let's uh, let's put the yes no here, and we could just ask some questions. This side of the bridge, I feel like we're safer on this side for some reason. Yeah. You know. So as our final test, we took the yes no prism out to the bridge where not an hour before we saw something that had sprinted across the opposite side. And neither one of us were comfortable enough to actually like walk across it because we felt like whatever it was, was either not allowed to or not able to cross to our side. So we decided to just play it safe and leave it right there in the snow. Were you just out here running around? Was that you? Are you trying to get our attention? I'm so paranoid right here right now. I don't know if it was like snow falling off a tree or... You heard like a little rustle, right? Yeah, something. Ooh. Can you come close to this device? Yes. Pretty fucking clear to me, huh? Yeah. Why did you bring us to this bridge? Did something happen to you over here? Is there something you want us to see out here? Were you just I like on that path? What's up? I thought I just saw something standing back there and it moved. Were you singing a little while ago? I, I can tell you that right here. now. Oh. Yes? No, we're not. I don't know, man. I'm s I don't feel comfortable. I don't right feel now comfortable either. No. Yes, come over the bridge. Kiss my ass. Yeah. How about you come over this side of the bridge? I don't know if that's a good thing. Why don't you come stand right here at the Hang end of on, the bridge? I, I don't know if that's a good thing. What? Inviting whatever that was to this side. We got a handful of direct responses to these questions, but after like the last yes that we got, we probably spent another 20, 30 minutes getting nothing out there in the 10 degree weather. That's kind of creepy, bro. Are you able to cross this bridge? Was that you singing while we were trying to go to bed? Did you touch the glass windows outside of the cabin? Do you like looking inside that cabin at night? When we 
were finishing up the Yeso Prism, the sun started to rise, so obviously that's the end of our investigation, but even though it got quiet there towards the end and it was quiet in the beginning a little bit, we weren't getting a whole lot, that one moment we captured on the bridge was worth everything we've been doing for the past few years. This is what every single paranormal team out there dreams of capturing. We've gotten a lot of good things in the past, but this is like a full body apparition. This was worth every single second of that investigation, that one moment. And that's all it is sometimes, it's one moment. After hours and hours and hours of nothing, a split two seconds made the whole trip worth it. Dude, I swear to God, I just saw something run past, like outside, something moved. Do you, what is that? Do you see that right there? Dude. What is that? I oh, bro, it's shot. moving. It's moving. What the fuck is that? Oh, my oh, God. dude. What the fuck, bro? Thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of the season. I hope that you enjoyed it. This is something that I've wanted to do for a while. I've wanted to get on here at the end of these episodes and kind of give you like the editor's notes because I get to see all sorts of stuff that maybe don't really get mentioned in the videos and it's more like personal stuff than anything. You know, one of the funniest things to me about this episode is that Colton and I, you know, we've become best friends over the years. He is one of my best friends. I talk to him all the time about just life in general. And when we're on these trips, you know, sometimes I think that accidentally we can play onto each other's fears a little bit. So he knows that I don't like bears, I know, and uh, we talked about it a lot in, in previous seasons and stuff. But uh, in this episode in particular, when we were out in the snow and like we're looking at these paw prints and we're, we're seeing like baby bear paw prints. I know it's like probably animal paws because there's four of them here, look. Yeah. That ain't a rabbit. Something. He's got to say the worst things possible that I could hear, and it's just funny to me listening to him talking. You need to be careful with bears out here, for real. Oh no, big time. <laughs> and you know what? Huh? This is that time of the year where it was a little bit warm for a second, and then it got ice cold again. So the only thing that's waking up are the are the badasses. Oh yeah, yeah. The dudes that are starving, and right now they will. F Oh, they will fuck. They will up, fuck yeah. us up. Why would you say shit like that when you know that I'm so fucking afraid of bears? Just building that fear up in me, you know? I thought oh that was a shadow, God, bro. It like disappeared. Dude, I'm feeling all types of weird right now, dude. I started laughing a bunch when I heard Colton's reaction. He said, "Dude, I'm feeling all sorts of weird right now, dude." Dude, I'm feeling all types of weird right now, dude. <laughs> And I get it, because sometimes I don't even, I don't have the words to say either when I see weird shit like that. Dude, I'm feeling all types of weird right now, dude. Another thing that, that some of you probably noticed as soon as this season kicked off, maybe some of you didn't know it, but if you've been around the channel for a while, um, you probably caught it like that. So, uh, when I was younger, when I was really young, I didn't have, like my family didn't have money for braces and then when i got older i got invisalign i wore that shit for like two years and it, it straightened my teeth out but then the dentist told me well the reason that you don't have a smile like everyone else is because you have a couple teeth that are smaller than the average size tooth and to me i was like all right well then how do we go about fixing it so recently uh, i went to a cosmetic dentist and i got a couple of porcelain veneers added i'm very happy with my smile now i really am but <laughs> i'm still not used to talking with them right like speaking with them feels a little bit different because when you have like certain size teeth your whole life whenever they make any kind of changes to that it's a little bit difficult to speak and i think that the <laughs> the most obvious time for me was when I was doing the afterthoughts on this particular investigation. We actually got caught in a snowstorm on our way. Snowstorm. There were fucking chiclets in my mouth. <clears throat> Get out of my mouth. There was so many times that I couldn't say what I wanted to say because I was having a hard time pronouncing F words. And um, I, I, I was fucking up left and right. So we ran some EVP. The EVP. Um, dude, it's hard to talk with these. Hey, oh, fuck. 
Oh, I lost it. That's the worst feeling in the world. So again, I hope that you guys are enjoying the new season. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, check out the second channel that I got. It's called Casey Nolan Uncensored. That's where you can see all sorts of podcasts, music videos, all my behind the scenes stuff that like isn't scary because moving forward, I'm going to try to keep this channel, all the scary stuff, only scary. Top fives, top tens, hunting purgatory, paranormal investigations. And if you came here for my other types of videos, I definitely would suggest you check out Casey Nolan Uncensored. Um, that's gonna be a really fun channel where I can open up and express myself a little bit more than just the scary content. So thank you guys so much for joining. If you would like to get early access to our investigations and you wanna see it a couple days before it releases on the channel, check it out on Patreon. There's a link down below. And also we'll be doing a PS5, Xbox X series giveaways throughout this entire season so once a month a patreon will be selected once a month a new subscriber on my second channel will be selected and that is my way of trying to give back to you guys that have been supportive of us for so long so i will see you guys next time Imagine that you're lying there and, and you feel something like that. Hey, seen that? Hello? Stopped. Stopped? Stopped. Oh. What the f was that? But it happened more than once. It happened like a few times. This place was extremely active for us the night we were there. Is it just me or does it feel colder down here than it is outside? Way colder. I had no idea that there was so much going on around us all night. If I had seen what I saw on the playback of that footage down below us, I would not have even taken one step down those stairs.